Welcome to Shorty Super Coach, and welcome to a video where I'm going to discuss a bloke that I reckon could be this year's Christian Petrarca, a big step up to premium status. It is going to be risky, but I'm all about this bloke, so I'm going to discuss that in a moment. The club by club previews, I've just sort of uh, stepped away from them just for the time being, just with a couple of videos I've done for Super Coach Talk. I've taken up my time, and then I just wanted to smash this one out, but they'll be back. I'll have a couple of those for you um, probably later in the week. Or over the weekend but who is this year's Christian Petrarca of course last year we saw Petrarca after many many years of frustration thinking he's gonna break out he finally did he went from 81 average to I think it was about 117 118 it was enormous and all those knocks that we previously had on him were erased and everything we thought he could be he was so I'm gonna talk about this fella who I think can replicate similar probably not you know, to say a guy's going to average that much, I mean, it was just an out-and-out brilliant season. But I think this guy can get definitely get to about 110. Jai Simpkin is his name. I am, I'm all about him. He averaged, it's a bit bit different, I guess. He averaged 93 last year. So it was a bit of a, a, bit of a mini breakout. I guess Petrarca just stayed around that 78 and 80 for, for like years. It was probably four seasons, I reckon, where Simpkin... He has probably gone from about 70 up to 93, and I can definitely see him taking it well into the three figures. If you need any convincing about this bloke, just type his name into YouTube. There are many a highlight where he just, he sidesteps, he's got class, composure, he can kick a goal. I'm all about him. I really think he could go huge. Look at the start of last year. First six rounds, he averaged 119. Now, I know that's just a small sample size and he dropped away a bit. He ended the year with a 140 plus and this is what I like. He, he's he got the top end, like he can go big. And I think sometimes we see young players coming through the ranks and they, they look promising and they average well. But to have that high end scoring ability isn't always something players have. Now, Simpkins got it. He's got the ability to go 130 plus. What we saw last year were a few scores where he just struggled a touch. There were 50s. I think he had a score in the 40s. You know, he got a bit more attention. Now, I reckon he plays a bit better when Cunnington is in the side because I think Cunnington is that guy that attracts more attention. Look, if Simpkin really gets going, of course, he's going to attract some attention. That's something he's going to have to deal with. But I really like the look of this one. You know, it's, it's got a bit of a vibe of, you remember the days when Chris Judd used to be at the Blues and he'd be dominating, but Mark Murphy just would dominate too, and he wouldn't even get looked at because all the attention was on Judd. You know, slightly different names. Cunnington is no Judd, but they play similar inside tough football, and I think Simpkin can slightly go under the radar. Like I said, if he starts tearing games apart, of course, they're probably going to start to tag him, but that's the one query on it. I'm not sure... How he's going to go with the tag, he's a young man, but he's come back pre-season, he's looking a million dollars in the match simulation, he's looking amazing, and I know everyone's looking amazing, but there's been specific articles, you know, who looked the best, who was a clear standout, and it's been Simpkin, you know, I just think he's ready to, to take a young North Melbourne midfield and lead it, you know, there's quite a lot of youngsters in there that are talented, and he's the most talented for mine, I love that he's not just He's not just a guy that accumulates or, you know, he's got some real class. He looks like a game breaker, confident. If there's one knock on him, it is his use by foot. Now, he did average quite a high number of clangers, which you can look at it two different ways. If he tidies that up a bit, he's got a fair bit of scope for improvement. But is this something that, you know, is he not the best kick going around? Is it something that he has just needed to work on is it something that will just come as he be gets a bit more composed in the game but I think it was funny last year I I had him late in the year I think and it's crazy when you select a guy you really watch him you really watch him close and and I was surprised because I all I'd heard was this silky Jai Simpkin and and he actually did butcher the ball a few times but having watched it closely it wasn't necessarily <laughs> bad sort of technique he just made some poor options and and looked a little bit took it a touch easy at times in a couple of games I saw 
So I don't feel as if there's a technical flaw like he's actually a bad kick. I just think there's a couple of things he needs to tighten up on, and I think he will. And we've seen this knock on players before, and, and then we don't even talk about it. Once upon a time, Nat Fife, I used to read all these forums years ago. You know, can't pick Fife, he turns it over too much. And then he went from averaging 105 to 120. And then and Clayton Oliver's the same. Oh, you can't pick Oliver, he butchers the ball. Comes out and averages 120-odd last year. So it can be done, these superstars of the game. They, they don't all have to be Marcus Bont and Pally by foot. You can accumulate and score points in other manners. And sometimes it just takes, you know, one year they seem like they're the clanger king. And next year they don't go to being the best kick in the league, but they just tighten up on a few things, whether it's the decisions they make, the kicks they take on. Maybe they go by hand a little bit more. I think Simpkin is a bit more silky and different type of player to an Oliver or a Fife, but you know they've, they've probably got similar circumstances with this clanger thing at the start of their careers. So I am all about Jai Simpkin. I'd love to hear your thoughts on him. Am I going to put myself out there and say I'll pick him? At the moment, he is in my side. I have paid the big bucks. Shorty's gone out and subscribed and got Supercoach Gold. Look out, I'm really spending up big but um so i've done a team picker and i'll have to do a video on that too but at the moment he is in my side which which breaks a lot of rules <laughs> that i've previously sort of told you guys but you know average 93 last year i can see him lifting that by 15 so let's see how we go love to hear your thoughts if you got someone else that you think can break out like that let me know and i'll chat to you guys soon cheers